question is from Tiffy Leap. How does one develop side glutes? I have a weird concave between my leg and hip instead of the side glutes being round. Side butt. Ooh, I did yeah. a YouTube video on this. Yeah. Should, yeah. Build yeah. that side butt. What did you do in the vi- in the video? We should link that in the show notes. By yeah. The way. Uh, I'm trying to write. So I think I did uh, lateral uh, tube walks. I mm-hmm. did um, sumo deadlift. Um, squats. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm not really a big curtsy stuff, lunge yeah. guy, but I, I mean, that that is something that you could definitely do. I don't remember all the stuff I did in there, but honestly, actually, uh, the sumo deadlift is one of my favorite things to teach to somebody trying to do that, just because of the mm-hmm. you know. Extern- but you got to push out while yeah, you're lifting. Yeah, you yeah. got to you got to know that um, that's what that's responsible for. And this is actually really common. Uh, a lot of people uh, that the the side butt uh, or side glute. Uh, becomes really uh, dormant because we don't do a lot of things laterally or you know moving in different planes as we get older and so we just we we lose that good connection there and so then when you do an exercise like squats or hip thrusts or some of these traditional movements that should develop the entire butt that part of the glute is is kind of and I, I hate saying turned off cuz it's not completely turned off it's less dominant and you're not getting a lot of extra help like you should from there and knowing to open up your knees or push your knees out, mm-hmm. uh, which is why it, it's really popular. Um, so I actually just I did another YouTube video that will go live. It's not live yet on the um, the hip circle. Yeah, hip the circle. hips. Thank you. Yeah, the, the hip, that's a hip thrust. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the hip circle. One. This is what what's great about using the hip thrust, or the the hip circle for things like the hip thrust, deadlifting, and squatting is that because the band is pushing your knees in, you have to fight against the band and push the knees out. That's your side butt that does that. Mm -hmm. So it it forces you to turn that on while you do a movement like squatting, like deadlifting, or like hip thrusting. So this is where this tool is a really uh, beneficial tool to help somebody engage that part of their butt while they're doing these traditional movements but like I talk about in this upcoming YouTube video, it's a tool. Use it that way to get reconnected to that area and utilize it, but learn to do it without the band so you don't have to use a band yeah. forever. Yeah, the side butt's referring to – so when you look at the, the glute complex, it's like the, the butt, the whole butt cheek, right? There's there's actually more than just one muscle. There's three. There, you have the gluteus maximus, which is the big – meat part of the butt. And then on the side, you have the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus, which are kind of sit on the top side of the butt and then one that's right on the side of the butt. And they're actually small muscles. And they they have, you know, they stabilize the glutes. They they actually, they stabilize the gluteus maximus. They help when you squat and do leg thru- uh, hip thrusts and lunges. Um, but they also bring the leg out uh, in what's called abduction or lateral. So if you're standing, if you, you're confused with the words I'm using here, if you're standing up and you just bring your leg out to the side, like you're going to do a karate kick mm. while keeping your foot pointing straight, you're activating, among other things, those those muscles on the side uh, of your glutes. So exercises that work on that function help work those muscles. Now, we'll say this. They're small muscles. So if you are if you go to the gym, you're like, you know what? I want to work on my side butt, so I'm not going to do any more hip thrusts. I'm not going to do it's any more squats. I'm going to do all the abduction machine, you know, dog a.k.a. Dog peas. Yeah, dog peas, the good girl, bad girl machine, all that stuff. Yeah, side karate kicks. You'll actually lose uh, size and, and, and roundness and firmness to your glutes because you're going to sacrifice working the big meaty part of the glute for the smaller part. So what Adam's talking about is just – being able to feel them when you're doing the big exercises. So one way you could do it, now a hip circle is basically a band. So you can either buy a hip circle or you can get yourself a resistance band and tie it around your legs. This is what I used to do with my clients. This is before uh, I knew hip circles existed. I would take a resistance band, put it around my client's knees and tell them, all right, push your knees apart while squatting. That way we could activate those muscles and you can kind of feel them a little bit. It's not making it necessarily, making the squat more effective for those muscles. It's making you feel those muscles more so that when you do your squats, they do become more effective for those uh, for those areas. So that's kind of one way you could do it. Abduction machines or abduction in general, like tube walking, that's another way to do it. One thing I recommend is this. If you have a weakness or a weak area or part of your body, train that first. Yeah. Then go to all your big movements. So uh, this is one of the few times where I'll tell someone to do a small movement before they do their big squats and, lun- and, and lunges and thrusts. Go ahead and do your tube walking. Go ahead and do your abduction machine. 
do your exercises that kind of activate those muscles. Then go do your barbell squats and your hip thrusts. But, but stay mindful of those area of that area that you're trying to feel and work on, and do it before every single leg workout. You know, we call it priming, right? Before every leg workout, do that uh, to to target those areas, and then watch what happens to your. This is one of the things I love about resistance training. It's mm. like a sculptor. Right. So it's the only form of exercise where you could specifically target parts of your body and sculpt it as you see fit, of course, with limitations. And this is one way to do it. 